Alright, hey, how's it going everybody? Gratuitous here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly back up your FL Studio projects so that you don't have to worry about missing files and that your projects are safe for the long term, okay? So what I have done is I have written an in-depth article about how to properly back up in FL Studio, okay? Now, I just want to show you that I have actually created a course here, okay? So I have tons of courses. I have I have about 14 courses at the moment, ranging from like a song structure and arrangement to sampling to using, you know, your mixer. And this is a course that is about your music production folder because over your years of using FL Studio, you'll find that you have missing files and it's just, it's a horrible experience. It pulls you away from making your music. And sometimes you might not ever find those files that are missing, which means that your project will never be the same. Trust me, you know, I've experienced that. So in this video, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through just a little bit of my music production folder. But if you guys want more information, my membership is $10 a month, but for the first three days, you guys can try it for only $1. It's kind of like a little free trial for you guys. And if you guys want to continue, it's $10 a month and there's tons of courses for you guys to learn. So let's check out my music production folder, okay? So this is my beat tapes folder. So I release beat tapes. I find it's a really good way to market my music. And my most recent one is volume eight here. I'll leave a link in the description. It's available for free download. It's also on Spotify, okay? So let's open it up here. So inside of Mixed, so every single project that you work on, you wanna make sure that it gets its own folder. And inside of that folder, so right now I'm in Ambition, so let's just go to Ambition. Each folder gets the actual FL Studio project file, that's the FLP, as well as I back up the individual sounds. And FL Studio makes this super, super easy, okay? So all you have to do is just go File, you go export and then you go project data files. And then now you're just going to select the folder of where you want to save it. In my case, I create a folder within this project and I just go ambition dash sounds and that's it. Okay. So if we double click on it, you can see all the individual sounds. Now there's one thing you have to be careful of currently at the moment, FL studio doesn't back up Edison or slice six loops into this folder for you. So you're going to have to make sure that you manually drag those in. Okay. That's kind of like a little gotcha. This is what I do. And it's super, super good. It's allowed me to prevent missing files. If I want to open up old projects from, you know, a long time ago, this works. Now there's one other way. If you want to back up even further, it's kind of like overachieving, but it does help you that little extra just in case. Okay. And it's just backing up the stems. So in my case, I would actually probably create another folder inside of sounds here or whatever, or you can just create stems out here. It's up to you. So what you do is you go export, you go to WAV file, and then you go split mixer tracks. Okay. So I'm just going to go to desktop. We're going to go save, obviously save this into that folder and you just go split mixer tracks. But what you're going to see is like, you know, the file size gets quite large. Okay. And that's just the reason why I personally don't back up the stems of each track that I work on. I personally find that if I back up the individual sounds through the project data files, as well as making sure to back up Slicex and Edison and tools like that, then you're going to be good to go. Now, the biggest benefit of this is that each project essentially becomes its own entity. So what that means is that if I delete sounds within my current sound folder, I don't have to worry if I delete sounds or if they get moved or if missing files or whatever, because this project has its own backed up sounds. Now let's say you move computers and now you open up this project. Now you have missing files. All you have to do is just drag this and drop it into that folder, open it up and you'll be good to go. Now, in addition, if you hit F10, FL Studio also has a tab here for project. You can also assign a data folder. So how FL Studio works is when FL Studio opens up, it searches through a bunch of different folders, trying to find all the sounds that pertain to this project. Okay. So as you can see right here, there's browser extra search folders. So when FL Studio opens up, it searches through all of these folders, trying to find all these files. In addition, you can also assign this current project to its own folder. In this case, I would make ambition here, the actual project folder. And then that way, when FL Studio opens up, it will search through ambitions, folder structure, and all of its children folders, for example, ambition sounds, and it will just help find all those sounds for you. Now there's also zipped loop package, but these two are pretty much the same thing, except this just makes it into a zipped compressed file. So what happens is it backs up all the individual sounds as well as the FLP. But again, it's not backing up Slicex and Edison currently. But as you can see, you know, between the zip loop package to the project data files, 
this is the same thing except it, it's just not a compressed zip file as well as I make sure to drag in Edison and Slicex into here and I'm good to go. Again, if you guys want more information on my personal music production folder and how I set it up to prevent missing files, it's called a specific music production folder. Again, my courses are a part of a membership, so it's only $10 a month. And if you guys want to try out the first three days, it's only $1. And then from then on, it's $10 a month. I have courses on arrangement, uh, filters, uh, releasing a beat tape, compression, EQ, you know, sampling your music, you know, so I, I have tons of courses. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, I kind of treat the membership as like a mentorship. So in other words, if you guys have questions, if you guys want to reach out, you know, you guys can talk to me. And uh, there's also a private forum where you guys can ask me one-on-one -on -one questions and I can either answer your question or I can actually create a course on that question for more details as well. Okay, so that's how I back up my sounds. All of the links will be in the description below. If you guys would like to see future tutorials from me, just leave it in the comments. I'm Gratuitous. Thanks for checking out the video. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from me.